allergic to nuts. That doesn't make That's me a nerd. Such a I'm, cop out. I'm just everybody a person. That is, just I, everybody loves nuts. I just get peanut butter, almond milk, and almond coconut butter, milk. Almond milk. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a Clatter TV talk on a Friday. Sorry you had to see some of that behind the scenes. Obviously, like most shows, there's so much drama that happens behind the scenes, especially on a scintillating Friday like today. Uh, I'm Josh McCuga. I'm here every single day at 11 a.m. PST. Joined on a Friday, as always, by the one, the only, the nasty one herself, Miss Sinead DeFreeze. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> I'm getting a telemarketer call right now. This is, <laughs> this is great live television, Hello. guys. This is. Hi. I am filming a show and you're being really rude. <laughs> Nailed it. She really answered that. Nailed it. <laughs> Answering phones on that. Also here, uh, the mother of Ginger Dragons. That's Miss Grace oh, Hancock. Oh, it's, uh, it's Rat. Hold on. Thanks. Uh, no, yeah, I don't answer my phone ever, but good morning on a scintillating Friday. Scintillating Friday. Scintillating. Um, what, uh, what's, you're, are we going to do Twitter questions today, Grace? We are going to. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's Joshy being nice for, are you going to tell the kind people to tweet you? Uh, yes. <laughs> please, please do your job. Your question thank you. <laughs> at Mrs. Grace Grace. Hashtag. Letter TV time. That's it. Uh, before we get into it, I, uh, I have to let you guys know right now on the channel, episodes one, two, three, and four of Defenders, the reviews are up right now. Uh, David Griffin, myself, John Schnepp reviewed the first four. Uh, I have watched five of them already. I plan to finish tonight, probably, uh, I mean, you know, the next three, whatever, maybe this afternoon, who knows, but we are filming the, the next four episode reviews on Monday. Those episode reviews will go up Monday evening or Tuesday morning, kind of depending, but we're hoping to get all those out to you guys by, by Monday evening. Uh, I know I'm really excited to watch it, and before, I mean, after five episodes, no spoilers, it's awesome. There is a lot of violence, there is a lot of fighting, and it's actually a really, really cool story. It feels, uh, I, I know people have been tweeting me like pictures of the Ninja Turtles and the Defenders. It's not the Ninja Turtles, all right? <laughs> It's not the Ninja Turtles. Regardless, <laughs> spoiler. I do what are like, you talking about? People have been tweeting like the Fenders and Ninja Turtles are the same thing because they have like a blind old guy with a sword uh, and then four funny. people. Regardless, it is very, very entertaining, uh, and I'm really excited to see how it ends. Grace. What's first? All uh, right, so we are going to start our day with uh, Jamie Lannister himself revealed that he's due to report back to the Game of Thrones sets for one last time this October, which is later than usual. Mm -hmm. Even though we're getting a shorter season, they're still very epic long episodes. So this means that like, at the very, very, very earliest, we're not going to see season eight until like maybe next August, probably after that. Yeah, I mean, here's how I'm kind of estimating it, right? You have six episodes. Right. We don't know length of them, but they've been teasing that each one are going to be about a movie. So you, you about a, fil a month of filming per episode, probably, and then four to five months. So that's six months. So you got October. Let's just say it starts at the beginning of October. You got October, November, December, January, eight, uh, February, March. <laughs> I'm really bad with months, guys. I'm really good at it. Uh, then you have about four to five months of post yeah. to make the dragons look awesome, to make the sex scenes between brothers and sisters look real. And aunts um, and uncles. I aunts mean, and or, uncles. I mean, no, not, no, nieces, whatever, you, you know. You know. I want it. Uh, so, again, you know, like like this season, mid-July would be the super earliest, I think. I, and they didn't care about Comic-Con this year, so I don't, can, I don't see them caring about Comic-Con next year. Um, so I would imagine August, maybe they wait till fall, but I don't know. Again, they're not gonna they're not gonna rush them out. So no. earliest we'd see is August. Sinead, can you wait that long for synopsis? Uh, I mean, I can. <laughs> I, I don't know if I don't know if the world can. <laughs> That's true. It's very very true. Um, but you know, we, we look at that amazing uh, graphic behind you, Sinead. We can't really get a great camera on it, but there it is. There, look at that beauty. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! Um, yeah, Jon Snow's like <laughs> totally was so. totally macking. Um, <laughs> no, but she wants it too. <laughs> but um, but what call Everyone freaks out when when like everyone freaked out the last time when they uh, postponed Game of Thrones. Remember, yeah. they're like, what is wrong? Like, what's happening? Right. And remember, it was so great. I loved like their their <laughs> statement about it. They're like, winter has come. Like, we have to wait for it to snow. Yeah. Calm down, everybody. Like, <laughs> Basically, it, dot dot dot. Fuck off. Dot dot. Yeah, dot. like we'll let us yeah, also, uh, let us make our show. Down. You know. Like yeah. you're gonna love it. Let us make it the right way. So I mean, I have zero zero concerns, and I'm not a diehard Game of Thrones fan, like Game of Thrones fan, like the rest of you. But um, I feel like you're gonna get a wonderful show. Like.
like one way or another, it's going to be epic. What Grace said before was like, I don't understand why they didn't give us 10 episodes if they're making these longer episodes, sick, da 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 But also, if you think about it like this, is you have seven episodes this season. Now you can go back and restart from episode one. And when you get to ep- season seven, you only have seven episodes to get through. The binge <laughs> is a little bit easier. I'm just saying, guys, there are positives to look out here. You have so much time if you never watched Game of Thrones, if you're that only idiot in your office. If you're watching Hard Knocks on HBO, which is the Tampa Bay Bucks, I know Cody watches it. Cody loves it because it's about <laughs> the Tampa Bay Bucks. For that one. All of like, yeah, the, like all of the football yeah. players, all of the executives, they're all like, I mean, so what is Jon Snow like going to bang? The, what? Are, how are they related? Like, yes. and the football players are talking about, like, yo, you can't, you can't not watch because people die all the time. Like, you don't watch for a second, thirty people may die, and they're all talking yeah. about it. Like, it's all like of the one players. show that you have. It's like peer pressure from the universe yeah. to watch it because yeah. I like was into it, and then I was kind of not into it after like the Demon Baby came. I was yeah. like, that's a lot for me. I'm gonna <laughs> take a break. Um, and then you, you have to, you yes. have to be a part of the conversation. One hundred. It's like a, this global phenomenon of like incest. I don't know. It's I don't know where we're past going. Water cooler to every cooler. I know, like. Who would wait it's like seven seasons to finally start watching it? I know. What? Fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely started watching like two months ago. What's next? Uh, uh, moving case. right along. The CW is developing a one-hour drama series based on Leslie Livingston's young adult novel, The Valiant. The series would follow a 17-year-old Celtic princess named Fallon, like Jimmy, who's on the <laughs> run from an arranged marriage and a sheltered life who is captured and forced into slavery under Julius Caesar and ends up training among the first wave of female gladiators to compete in the Colosseum. I'm in. Sign me up. David Griffin's out there. He's clapping. He loves it. A little golf clap for David Griffin post movie talk. You're not in. You're not on board with this. I'm gonna do like the con- like the. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Like, obviously, I'm down with like badass girls like with swords and stuff. Sure. But this just sounds so cheeseball to me. Like, she's 17 and she's in the Coliseum. Like, give me a break. Okay. So I don't know. Like, I want to check it out, but it's like, come on, don't laugh at me. You like, yeah, it's cheesy. She nasty. Ah, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I really like the C- I like the CW right now. Right? Yeah, CW is crushing. Yeah, sometimes they come. I mean, this could go either way, right? It could be yeah. super over the top. But the CW has been doing okay with that. They've been yeah. balancing enough of the cheese ball side with like actual intriguing storylines. So I'm okay with it. Cause like I was thinking about Riverdale the other day and I was like really thinking about it. And I was like, man, there were so many episodes where I was like, okay guys, like calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like let's simmer down a little bit, mm-hmm. but it's also what makes the show. Yeah. So this looks a little dramatic at, and it sounds a little over the top and like it's reaching a little bit, yeah. but also it's a different storyline, completely different than anything that they've done. Yeah. And they know how to make their characters and their shows really represent like these cool young like superhero or warrior type people yeah. um and yeah after i watched a little bit of that one show i never watched a lot of what was it and i did all the interviews at comic con and i'm getting confused now uh, once upon a time nope <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, the show about the kids on the cw the hundred the hundred after yeah. i watched a little bit of that um, I kept wanting to say the leftovers. I was like, "That's not right." The the hundred because they have like similar posters. Yeah, yeah they the, really the, are. The, the one is it the hundred or the one hundred? The hundred. I think it's the hundred, but it's I've heard because it like is a controversy. A one with two I know, zeros. but apparently, a, but I mean, like, they're both correct. When, when um, no. Eliza Taylor so comes on the CW and says, "Up next, the hundred, starring yeah. me, Eliza Taylor." Sorry, it's the hundred, <laughs> starring me, Eliza Taylor. <laughs> Eliza Taylor. I'm just so happy Eliza you finally Taylor. did an accent that was more Australian than Cockney. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I like it. But I feel like they did a good job with that show and it could kind of be in the same kind of vein a little bit Agreed. so we'll see listen i love gladiator it's one of my favorite movies of all time if they if they shoot this anything like it or it's like (laughs) i don't think it's i'm not gonna be shot like that but i'm saying if they (laughs) i know david's yelling spartacus there was rome i'm not saying they're gonna shoot it like gladiator i'm saying (laughs) That, all right, you know what? Fuck off. I'm excited about it. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. I hate you oh, both. Man. Oh, <laughs> scintillating Fridays. All right. The League star Paul Shear has been set up to write Amazon's long awaited Galaxy Quest series based on the 1999 cult classic that starred Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, and Alan Rickman. Um, it was actually at Amazon a couple years ago, but there was a lot of issues that made uh, production halt it altogether. Now they have a new writer and. You know, we don't know if original actors are going to return. We obviously have the horrible, horrible, tragic death of Alan Rickman. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's, how are they going to handle this? That's going the forward? problem is like, okay, Sigourney Weaver is in Defenders. I don't, and she loves this movie. I've heard multiple interviews where she's like, I love Galaxy Quest. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Tim Allen has always been the biggest 
hurdle here because one, he does like 46 sitcoms a year that yeah. somehow are like the number one rated comedy on a Friday between the hours of eight and eight fifteen. Um, <laughs> and so rude. S- sorry. So, <laughs> so uh, he's been a hurdle. I don't think like Sam Rockwell, uh. an amazing actor. I don't think he's the biggest hurdle involved in this whole thing. I love the fact that they got Paul Shear involved because Paul Shear seems to get things made, and I love Galaxy Quest. Problem is, I think you maybe do a Galaxy Quest with some up and coming comedians, maybe like a Kamal Nanjiani, maybe a you know Ooh. some names that are are in our we know them, but maybe start like a new Galaxy Quest because like kind of bring hurdles. it to like a fresher Correct. younger generation. And I think you could reboot this in the sense of Galaxy Quest was an amazing movie. You could have a ton of fun with the Galaxy Quest name, especially with the names behind it now. Yeah. You know, and and you don't you don't want to. St- Alan Rickman not being a part is tough. That's all. Uh, yeah. So if you wanted the original so cast without sad. Alan Rickman, it's not Yeah, the same. it's like an awkward, it's Correct. a gaping, because he was this total like sh- scene stealer of the film. So. Yeah. It's like What Hot American Summer when they didn't have Bradley Cooper and they just have Adam Scott. An amazing first joke. Right, but then it was also kind of like, uh, yeah, I believe we still this Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Yeah, exactly. Something I say a lot. Yeah. Anyway. Shane? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, I'm not really familiar with this property. Got it. But you know what? Amazon has enough money to put the right people behind a show. And I think yeah. that we were convinced of that when we really started getting into those Amazon pilots. Yeah. Some of them were like a no for us. But more than once, we actually fell in love with a lot of those shows. Yeah. Um, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, also God, like, when the wait. hell are they going to give us that oh, show? I can only like watch Game that pilot so many times. I know, it's so good. Um, yeah, I've seen, I know, I know it like word for word. I know. But it's one of the best pilots I've seen Ever, ever. Yes. Um, so I actually just whenever I hear that Amazon's working on something, before I'd be like, "That's a little weird," yeah. you know. But they're a contender. I will say Amazon is oh, amazing sure. at pilots and sometimes not great on series yeah. delivery, like The Last Tycoon, <gasps> which was the last whoops a daisy. Uh, <laughs> not the best. So many hours of my life I will never get back. Yes. Joshua. All right, let's move on, Grace. <laughs> All right, Fox has landed Revival, a new comedy executive produced by Fresh Off the Boat creator showrunner, and I apologize. N- N- Nachka Khan, yep. I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, it centers around Elliot, a formal, he was formerly the little kid from a beloved 80s family sitcom, and he's now living a normal life, and he reluctantly gets sucked back into the show's revival with his old TV family. Oh, that's funny. And then yeah. Michael Schwalter, the amazing, is yeah. going to be directing. So, Showalter, Showalter, obviously awesome. Uh, this is this goes on the stuff we talk about all the time, which is basically like spoofing Fuller House, mm-hmm. a Roseanne reboot, what they were trying to do on BoJack Horseman. Remember they were trying to do like a re-BoJacking? Yeah. Uh, this is, I love this idea, and, and I, I feel like this has probably been pitched around for a while, mm-hmm. but because it is so relevant with all of these reboots, Will and Grace, uh, uh, Gilmore everything Girls, in the everything world. in the world. The is Munsters. Re- yes. I mean, the mm-hmm. fact that we haven't got a Family Matters reboot yet is is bonkers. It's yeah. bonkers. But that being said, this is an amazing idea, and I love it. And Showalter, Showalter can do no wrong, no wrong. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about it a little bit off air. I feel like his particular breed of, of humor is kind of perfect for this guy. Like, I'm excited yes. to see his take on this. Yeah, yeah I think are... it's hilarious. It's so relevant. You're right. And the fact that, like, Gilmore Girls got picked up for, like, two seasons before the first one even premiered, <laughs> it's just kind of shows, like, where pop culture is right now, that we're just, yes. like, we think we're so obsessed with the shows that we once loved, and more often than not, they never deliver. Yeah, like, because the, the heart standard. is lost. Right, yeah. and it's just not the same. Like, there's a reason why shows in the '90s <laughs> worked in the '90s, or the '80s worked in the '80s because it was the '80s and the yes. '90s. Like, our brains actually have changed a little bit. There's an amazing. So this is funny. There's an amazing story about um, Jennifer Aniston, right? And I know it. Like, it's weird how I f- I heard this story, but she was talking to somebody, and they were like, "Why have we never done a Friends reboot?" She's like, "Are you stupid? Why would we do that?" We had perfection. We had lightning in a bottle. And now we go back and we do a reunion. All it is is just fanfare. Yeah. If we go back, we want to do something with substance. And that's never going to happen. Right. There's lightning in a bottle. Yeah. And we'll never touch it again. And exactly. it's like, it's genius. And she says it like it is. I mean, yes, yeah, she's a movie star. But all of those friends people, besides maybe David Schwimmer, has like done something. Like, I, when was the last time you saw David Schwimmer? Well, he was an OJ. Well, yeah. Oh, that's right. OJ. He was an OJ. And My he bad was on directing that one. a little Kim bit. He directed that right. one movie, like Trust. And he did yeah, like that really creepy one. Yeah. Well, Band of Brothers, but he was yeah. like in two. But I actually, I, I auditioned gone for on to be like a movie star. Is what correct. You're right. Well, but but like, he's doing other stuff. I auditioned for Trust, and I had no idea. Like I got there, and I knew that David Schwimmer had like had like written it or something. Yeah. I walked into the audition room, and he was sitting there, and I oh, almost shit, shit a brick. <laughs> I 
drink. I literally was like, uh, 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 and he was like and wearing a baseball cap. And my dad, I was like 15, because yeah. it's about like a girl who falls yeah. in love with this guy. He's like yeah. a creep, yeah. Right, so I auditioned for like the show, the stage show and the movie, like two months apart. And I told my dad, I walked out of the room because my dad had gone with me, I was so young. Yeah. And I was like, dad. And he's like, what? And I was like, boss. <laughs> and then you just like completely panicked and you were like, oh, yeah. we were on and my dad break. was like, what do you mean? I was like, David Schwimmer is in that room. Yeah. And he was like, what? What? In there? I was like, yes, dad. Like literally like hyperventilating. Yeah. It's probably why I didn't book it. Like literally. No, I hear you. I hear you. I'm, my dad accidentally kissed Courtney Cox on the lips at a high school reunion because Michael Keaton was dating. Whoa. Michael Keaton was dating Courtney Cox at this high school reunion. And my my dad wasn't in the high school, but they all my dad was friends with the guy that was just best friends. High school. No, no, yeah, it was amazing. They had a party <laughs> afterward. Wait, 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 wait. People. Just go with it. They, He'd been stalking Courtney for the months. Stalking Courtney Cox. My <laughs> mom was like, crashed I don't... Crashed a reunion. Yeah, crashed a reunion. <laughs> His best bud went to high school with Michael Keaton, and they were good friends, and they all went out after, and Courtney Cox came out with Michael Keaton, and Michael Keaton was like, ah, oh, this is my friend, da 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 and she's like, this is Courtney. My dad went to, like, give her a hug, and no. they, they, like, kissed no. on the lips, and my dad was like... <laughs> And my mom lost it. She's like, just kiss Courtney Cox and lipstick. It happened so fast. I didn't know what to do. It was ah, fantastic. Oh, my God. So, that's hilarious. Yeah. Knowing your parents, that's like the most wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to be. That's it was, fantastic, it was fantastic in every way. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go on to everybody's favorite part of the show, which is what, Grace? The synopsis. Bam. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's my dragon. Do you, you get it yet? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> those dragons it is are, hot in the studio not, today. <laughs> those, dra those dragons are really loud. They are. I had to turn the Harrison was, Harrison was sleeping, and I was like, "Fucking dragons!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I like it turned it down, and they, she started talking, so I turned it back up, and then he started again. <laughs> I'm blowing the mics out. Sorry, Cody. He's got it. He's okay. Oh, Cody's man, like, "Oh fantastic. my god, what is he gonna stop?" All right, let's hit a synopsis. What do you say? All right. Um, okay, episode five. Surprise, surprise, brother lover is alive and well. Just a little river barf, but he's all good. <laughs> other barf. than the fact that other than the fact that he's legit about to poo his pants over dragon, the dragon almost incinerating his brains. Daenerys is sucking up to all the soldiers she tried to kill. She's like, trust me, guys, I'm not here to murder you, but my dragon is, bitches. <laughs> Peter Dinklage is not amused. Brother Lover is home to tell Cersei that this dragon war is about to be Cersei. next Cersei. level. But Cersei's like, we're going to war, babe. Let it go. Jon Snow is like, nice, dragon. And Daenerys <laughs> is feeling some type of way about it. But a blast from her past has arrived and John's like, dude, I was trying to get that. Awkward stares ensue. Psychic Stark saw some zombies in his visions, but still somehow zombies are so hard to comprehend. Sure, they can get on board with fire-breathing dragons and Maisie literally wearing filch's skin, but zombies? God forbid anybody suggests that. Also, <laughs> RIP to bedpan dudes fam. Daenerys, you bitch. Peter Dinklage and Grandpa sneak into Cersei's house. Peter Dinklage finds brother lover to chat about some Khaleesi requests, and Grandpa adopts a kid. They're almost busted, but Grandpa bribes them with some money and some crab yum and then they're almost busted again <laughs> but the kid knocks his face in peter dinklage is amused brother lover tells Cersei that daenerys wants to meet and she's not having it then she's like kiss me bro don't ever fucking betray me again and there'll be more where that came from daenerys is saying goodbye to her ex-lover and her soon to be new incesty lover yeah and everybody's all sad one last look from ex-lover and they're off where are they going again? Maisie bitches at Redhead Bitch for being a shitty leader in John's absence. And then Redhead Bitch's shady life coach does a drug deal and Maisie sees the whole thing. All right, Team Jon Snow has arrived at prison. There's some more bitching. And then they head outside. It's cold. It's serious. They're walking. They're walking. They're walking. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> also, let me just say something here. That's the synopsis. Thanks, Bring guys. it in, hot. Let me just say something here. Knowing not that much about the show... I will say, last week's episode was better than this week's, right? Yeah, this was a very set up episode for the final two episodes. Right. Um, uh, and then also, did, uh, did an episode get leaked? An episode did get leaked, yeah. yes. And uh, I, I know people that have seen it, and I'm staying away from spoilers, because Saturdays are for the boys, and Sundays are for the thrones. So, you know, I'm waiting until Sunday to watch it with friends yeah. and family. Yeah, because I, I did see a bunch of people talking I'll stay about away it. From spoilers. But so if that episode got leaked, and after that episode, there's only one there's more? There's only yes. one more. But, like, nothing's happened. I know. 
Well, it's like they had well, the not, one crazy has epic episode, there. and yeah. then they were like, we get ghosts for the rest. This episode is going to do a lot with the, the Army of the Dead, and I think, I don't know, I got my timelines a little messed uh-huh. up because I thought that this this season was going to be more fight for the Iron Throne. Next season was going to yeah, be fight so for the White Walkers. It's going to be flipped. Yeah, so yeah. Th- clearly this is, they're never going to start their, maybe at the very end they'll finally start their war, but like Cersei versus Daenerys is not going to happen until you think. Probably, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense, because yeah. there's no way that they could get it's, to yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to be, to me, more human fighting. This season might be more dead fighting. Cool. We'll see, we'll see. There's two more episodes, they're going to be long, so, you know, anything can happen really, because uh, the timelines in Game of Thrones are very truncated. They're like, I need to get to the wall, which takes like two months, like, I'm at the wall. So it's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It, they, they are truncating the timelines, which is totally fine, right. and I appreciate that. Um, before we move on to the freestyle, I was just hit with a Slack, which if you guys don't know what Slack is, it's a message service in between the office of, of I don't know, it's basically like a big chat room with hashtags. And so... <laughs> and GIFs. GIFs, hashtags, funny oh, things. Oh yeah, it does have some great... Apparently, the newest trailer for Punisher was just dropped, like mid-show. So what we're going to do is Grace is going to pull it up on her computer, oh. and we're going to watch it. David Griffin is going to come in here with us and watch it with Dude us. Group. Uh, we're going to do a live trailer reaction, then we're going to get to the freestyle. We may have to skip Twitter questions and then do Pick of the Day, and we're going to get out of here. But we are going to watch the, uh, the Punisher trailer. Is it cool? Can we do this live on air? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going for it. Am I... <laughs> I wonder if this is different from what you I saw. saw at, right I saw here. footage at. Um, let me move this mic over just a touch. Was it a trailer or did they just show you like clips? Like they just showed us a clip. Okay. Bring your mic over, Sinead. There you go. All right, this is for you Collider fans. Doing a little trailer reaction. I mean, this is... Is <laughs> it not loading? Get that blown up a Let's bit. try like another browser. <laughs> David's like, could you make it bigger? Um, <laughs> sure thing, Dave. Can we get it in 1020, 10, <laughs> please? Uh, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. Oh, shit. Okay. All okay. right. Is that big enough for you, Griff? That's Griff? big enough. <laughs> <laughs> she said, <laughs> Editing. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. This is going to be brutal. <laughs> so hot. I'm right. <laughs> Dope. Oh, that's cool. Great craftsmanship. Oh, man. <laughs> Crushing. He's like, really good with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. It's like All five right. minutes prior, yeah, he's taking like quick, a little pick quick to but the lovely. Ground. That's cool, yeah. I think that looks dope. Yeah. Here's the looks thing. Looks good. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, David. Appreciate yeah. it. You want to give your thoughts it. on it really quick? Oh, I mean, I can, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Classic uh, Griffin there. It's nice. Oh, it's nice. Th- it's Thanks, David. Nice air conditioning over here. It's nice and yeah. cool. <laughs> no, it, look, it looks awesome. I mean, it looks like it's going to be brutal. I mean, with all the other shows, I mean, Daredevil season two got pretty violent. Yeah. This looks like it's going to be a blood fest. Yes. Yeah, I'm very excited about blood that. Blood bath, yeah. sledgehammers, yeah. guns, yeah. stabbing, uh, way, torture. That's the way it should be. Really that's impressive. Punisher. Sculptures. That's Punisher. Thanks, thanks, Griff. Appreciate thanks, it. Griff. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, let's hear for David Griffin, huh? Listen, uh, the, the footage that we saw at Comic Con is very different. I don't know when they're going to release that. That was that might just be Comic Con exclusive, uh, but the trailer, again, very quick, very quick snippets. Anytime somebody uses a sledgehammer, I'm on board. I feel like if I was a superhero, that would be my. I would have a sledgehammer, not Hammer of Thor. That's more of like a, a framing hammer if you're a construction worker. I want the sledge. Right. I want to whip that thing around like uh, you got the grandpa's son, aka Robert Baratheon's bastard. His oh, hammer, with his, yeah. his hammer in, in, in Game of Thrones oh, is yeah, yeah, something yeah. I would wield. All right, let's do a little DeFreestyle. What do you think? All right, yeah. So um, for DeFreestyle today, I found a quiz. So you're going to make a sandwich, right? Okay. And okay. It's, gonna t- <laughs> it's going to tell us sandwiches. how whether or not you're completely unsatisfied with your life right now. Okay. okay? Oh, great. Interesting. All right, All right, all right. so Josh, choose your bread. Uh, white. Okay. Tal- is there Italian on there? Let me see. Like Italian, I like Italian white bread. There is um, ciabatta. Uh, yeah, ciabatta's good. Ciabatta. I like a good ciabatta. Ciabatta. Ciabatta's like, it's got a nice, soft core. Okay. Kind of like me. Dope. It's the rosemary. Like Pick a protein. Uh, I would probably go like an Italian meat, like a capicola. They have capicola on Jesus there? Jesus Lord. Okay, they have 
turkey, ham, bacon, corned beef, <laughs> capicola. Capicola. That's Put the thing. capicola on there. Yes. Oh, my God. They really have it? See, they really you. do. Wow. Oh. This is a classy yes. quiz. Pick a cheese. Oh, definitely. What Italian go cheeses with, are there? Uh, I'd like a provolone. Definitely a provolone. That is actually my, my yes. cheese as well. Yes. I always put provolone. Getting some class from a provolone. Yeah. Woo! I Just am, call I, me Joshy Provolonskis. All right, pick a veggie. Tomato. <laughs> you I like, like tomatoes. You like Cody down. Do you want to pick another vegetable? Because you can. Lettuce. Good job. Condiments. I uh, like a spicy mustard. Let's see here. So a... Oh, there is um, there's a Dijon mustard, or there's a regular mustard, or they have a Chipotle mayo. Oh, I like no, that it was. I Chipotle. like the Chipotle mayo, but with French fries. I'm gonna go the the spicy brown. Yeah, you got like it. my ladies. No, I, I'm dating a <laughs> blonde white woman. Uh, Amanda is blonde. <laughs> blonde and white. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any other condiments? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Not a big condiment guy on sandwiches. I'd keep it simple. All right, you have an option to add. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first ever sneeze live on air. I swear to God, I've never was sneezed that a on sneeze? TV talk. That was, it was the a most sneeze. precious thing yeah, I've ever seen. Yeah, what was that? Seen. It sounded like a little. It was like this adorable like, little like. <laughs> Like, I was oh, trying to hold it in, but I botched it. I botched it. All right. That's, oh, man, guys. Really we're, we're killing it <laughs> today. Okay. Um, you have an option to add um, some salt and pepper or some more meat. Uh, yeah, let's go double capicola because we only have one. Because <laughs> double the meat. Yeah. You got it. All right. Your result is you're satisfied with your life. Yes. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Woo. 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 It says you are satisfied with your life and you should be. Dang. Aww. Oh, thanks. That's so sweet, Sinead. I'll tell you what. The freestyle is awesome. Let's do more stuff like this. I love it. Sinead DeFreeze, everybody, you are a joy to have, obviously, here anytime you want to be here, especially on a scintillating Friday. Uh, should we take a Twitter question? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. You want tweets, guys? Um, I'm going to go with the first one I saw. We're going to go with uh, Happy Friday. Thank you, Ben. You too. All right, ben. Um, thanks, if you ben. could be friends with one of the defenders, who would it be? Who would it be? Who would Ooh. it be? be? Who would it be? Well, I see. I think that, like, first of all, Danny Rand is he, he's a little. He like wouldn't go out for a drink. He'd be that dude that got drunk on like two drinks and like hit on the wrong girl and like get kicked out of the bar. He's like, oh, I'm Danny Rand. Is, Daredevil he, is, is he even old enough to drink? I don't know. Probably. Uh, Daredevil's always like too in his head. He's yeah. Like, yeah. That would drive me crazy. Yeah. He's not a good wingman. Yeah. yeah. Jessica Jones is a drunk like me, which I <laughs> dig. Yeah, she knows how to party for and, sure. But Luke Cage is kind of like, yo, you walk into a bar with Luke Cage, nobody's going to mess with you. You're going to look cool yeah. as shit. You're going to definitely like, have girls like Luke Cage. And he's like, I like her. And you're like, oh, I can hang out with this girl because she doesn't like Luke Cage. Like, <laughs> sloppy seconds a little bit. Still, though, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. I don't know. Jessica Jones is like so cool that I'd be the less cooler. And I don't think I, I don't can know deal about with that. that. No, I would. Okay. She's like really cool, you know? Okay. She's like, Got the RBF like down to a oh, science, yeah. you know. Yeah, you guys could have a nice RBF off. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but I think that for me, I'd have to like go with. I'd probably have to go with. Well, I mean, in that sense, I should go with Danny Rand because I would definitely be the coolest one. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a for sure. If I walked into anywhere, they'd be like, Who, "Who's that girl with yeah. that weirdo?" Oh, hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> yes. I, I would always, if I was with Danny Rand, like, dude, use the fist. Like, half these fights in Defenders, I'm like, use the fist. Why is he using the fist more? Sorry I yelled. And Grace, go ahead. I, I for sure have to go with Luke Cage um, <laughs> for some reasons, but mostly <laughs> because I'm extraordinarily petite. I have step stools all over my house, oh. and he would be really great to have around for the tops of bookshelves, fridges, freezers, cleaning, Moving dusting. Yeah. But yeah. you're going to a bar. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to a bar? Did I say that? No, you just be friends No, it's just, we're just friends. But I'm just oh. saying, like, what do friends do? I just want him to bars. be my friend I who follows me around to, and we gets things. I going to a bar. Yeah. I mean, we can go to bars with our oh, friends. Oh, because then in that case, I don't know if I could hang out with Danny Rand that much. <laughs> you really get on my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe. But yeah, I mean, I. But yeah, okay. for sure. All right, Luke Cage. I Danny need. Rand, I need help with Jessica shelves. Jones. I think we can get our personalities, and that we're all satisfied with our lives. Uh, let's do a. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> oh my God, this is painful. <laughs> Of the day, if you could pick zero a sound came out of your mouth. <laughs> I literally can't breathe. If you could pick a TV dad to teach you a lesson about life, who would it be? Eric Taylor from Friday Night Lights. Boom, Coach oh. Taylor. Boom. Clear eyes, full heart. So yeah. That's so good. That's so good. Did I tell you I started binging Friday Night Lights? Because I did. It's so good. That's such the only a good time one. I thought I could get into sports was when yeah. I was watching Friday Night Lights. I was like, I could do it, but now I'm like, nah. damn, that's so good. Give me so one, Shane. Give me one. 
All right, so I would go with TV Dad. So I would go with uh, Baldwin's character in Gossip Girl. Oh. Um, not not Alec Baldwin. It's the other one. Kelly Baldwin. No, Stephen it's Baldwin. Stephen Baldwin. Stephen Baldwin. He was like this absent dad, but then he came uh, back and like was kind of like a dad, a good dad. Sure. Who's dad he, was he again? He was Serena's dad. Right, 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 right. But right. he was seriously like shady AF, yeah. and he was a doctor, and he was really smart, and he knew things about everybody and the entire city oh. and he had everyone working out of the palm of his hands eating out of the palm so of his hands so you want that kind of guy to teach you a life lesson a life <laughs> lesson yeah just because like i can get i can get the good old day-to-day -day life lessons all yeah. the time but when you really want to like have one piece of advice for your whole life you know, I gotta get down to the nitty gritty. Down to the you, nitty gritty. You gotta learn how to do some shady business deals yeah or like I if i find it. myself in trouble you know what's the what's the fastest way out Shady business Stephen deals. Baldwin, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to go Frank Costanza. Obviously, George Costanza's yeah. dad is the best. Uh, he invented Festivus because he was tired of Christmas. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's a legend. He, his lawyer has a cape. Frank Costanza <laughs> is the world's greatest dad in the worst possible way. Uh, that's my pick of the day. Nobody Our chose Danny day. Tanner. Surprise. No, because Danny Tanner was just kind of a yeah. doofus. He's softy. He's gross. Yeah. All right. That's it for a scintillating Friday on a Collider TV talk. We got that Punisher trailer in there just for you guys. Appreciate you watching all day, every day, every week. You know, well, you know what I'm saying. For the rest Before of your lives. Before we get lives. out of here, uh, Sinead DeFries, where can the good people find you on the internet? I'm online at Sinead DeFries, sent that so Sinead.com. I will be back, what's today, Friday? Friday. Um, I will be back next week, next Friday, for movie talk and TV talk. Boom. Grace Hancock. Boom. And you guys can find me online everywhere at Mrs. Grace Face. And I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga, Twitter and Instagram, The Josh McCuga Show on YouTube, WGN Movies for America, every Monday night. Again, we're here live every single day, 11 a.m. PST, only on Collider Video. Uh, I will not be here next Thursday or Friday. We've got some special guests coming in, just the normal TV talk panel. I'm going on my bachelor party, so I may not see you Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, depending on jail time. <laughs> Guys, it's Friday. Enjoy your Defenders binge. We'll see you Monday with all the Defenders review. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.